attorney for baby AJ and his family say the boy was admitted to Children's Health Care of Atlanta. AJ's father wants to donate a kidney to his son, but has been delayed by Emory's Transplant Center. And Good Day Atlanta's Caitlin Pratt is live with an update for us. Caitlin, good morning. Good morning to you, Elise and Ron. Uh, supporters of baby AJ, many don't even know him or his family, gathering in this spot across from Children's Health Care of Atlanta last night, calling for compassion. They say this little boy may not make it until 2018. Touch the heart of the nurses. Touch the heart of the administrators. Touch the heart of the doctors. Have a heart. The collective message from this group gathered outside Children's Health Care of Atlanta praying for baby AJ. We are asking for prayers. The family is asking for prayers so that this does not end tragically. The two-year-old was born without kidneys and, according to his family's attorney, must undergo nightly dialysis to survive. His father, Anthony Dickerson, a match for donation, but he violated his parole and Emory Hospital changed the timeline for the transplant procedure. A letter from the Emory Emory Transplant Center says its donor team wants to hold off until January after Dickerson provides evidence of compliance from his parole officer for the next three months. According to the Georgia Board of Pardons and Paroles website, Dickerson has been on parole since December 2016 for fleeing or eluding police. It's um, inhumane to deprive him of the perfect match that would keep him alive. In a statement to Fox 5, Emory says privacy regulations prevent them from sharing specific patient information, but Emory Healthcare is committed to the highest quality of care for its patients. Guidelines for organ transplantation are designed to maximize the chance of success for organ recipients and minimize risk for living donors. Transplant decisions regarding donors are made based on many medical, social, and psychological factors. And so baby AJ here in the hospital being treated for infection at this point. What's next in all of this? Family's attorney say, says they're reaching out to other hospitals to see if they will give the green light for this transplant to happen. That's the latest here in DeKalb County this morning. I'm Caitlin Pratt for Good Day Atlanta. Following the story for us, Caitlin, thanks.